Hi guys, DCT Makes here. 42 years since I did oxyacetylene um, welding and brazing at Rolls Royce. Thought I'd give it another try. Uh, started to put a rig together. Realized how expensive it is these days. Depending on where you go buy stuff. Let's just look at this. This is a number five, 150. See if I'm tank. This acet the oxygen, the acetylene is a number three, 75. Um, that tank from, say, like one of the main brand, you know, de you know, offsite dealers like uh, Tractor Supply or Northern or stuff like that. At one place, it's 400 empty to lease, basically. You basically lease them. Um, $3.99 at one, $70 to fill at one place, $45 to fill at another. The um, acetylene tank was $3.99, um, $58 to fill. And I, by the time you bought the torches and the cart and everything else, and you've paid those prices, you're way up in the top part because I've looked at a lot of videos, like you know, up to 10 years old on oxyacetylene. It seems to have petered off. People, you know, not brazen a lot in these days or showing it that at least. And the thing that they don't show is supporting your cables. So there's no weight on them. Yeah. That was a big thing at Rolls Royce was supporting your cables. And I just, just, just started to do this. Kind of take that tension off them. Feed them through so you don't get any dramatically sharp bends. You know, your bend pipes. We're going to work on that. But the thing that nobody shows is flashback arresters. This guy here, which I'll point, uh, that guy right there on the oxygen and that guy right there are uh, the gauge end resist um, flame flashback arresters and then on the gun itself the torch itself another pair in the other well they go in the same direction but these are cut obviously with the thread in for the torch itself and they stop uh, any flashback into your tanks. And I remember the uh, trainer at Rolls Royce saying, the acetylene, acetylene is really dangerous. It's, um, I don't understand the mechanics of it like deep down, but uh, it has like a porous matrix inside the tank with acetone in it. And then the um, acetylene is somehow gets put into the acetone and they meld together and when you let the pressure off you get the acetylene out there's a bunch of rules about how long you should um, braise or cut for an hour how much of the poundage of that should come out within a given hour that's in all the books but no, again nobody talks about that but the guy back at Rolls Royce said oh, that one's dangerous that blows up it's going to take part of the training room out he says if that guy blows up, it'll take the block and the next row of houses out. That one's under 2,500 pounds, the oxygen side. So you want to make sure they're in there real good, stable. Um, somebody's going to disagree with something I said. Obviously, there's a lot, a lot of people out there have done, done this for years and years and years, every day. I see people, even though they've... Um, pressure tested the tanks with uh, with fluid all the joints they've sprayed all the joints all the way down with fluid they'll light their torch right here right in front of this 
Oh, that seems a little stupid to me. Be sensible, light your torch away. So, it's getting a little closer. We're going to turn the tanks on. We're going to put the torch down. We turn the tanks on. We're going to turn the oxygen on. This gauge is the tank pressure. And these are actually all the way out. There's no, there's no pressure on the diaphragm letting it come through the regulator and then through the diaphragm and then through the gauge for how much is coming out the torch and then down the pipe. So all it is is from the tank to the pressure regulator for the actual tank. Now on oxygen, I'm going to open it all the way because in here there's a seal at the bottom and then a seal at the top. I, I watched one guy say knock this back a little bit maybe because of the com compression on the uh, ring, the o-rings in here or wh whatever the seal is. Um, I don't remember that from 42 years ago obviously but um, all the way all the way out on the oxygen. Now the acetylene, acetylene is a different story acetylene you want to be able to shut off quickly everybody will tell you this on all of the um, channels they've got uh, oxyacetylene stuff on them you're going to make sure that there's no pressure on the diaphragm then you're going to open the tank just a quarter of a turn and the pressure's already up almost almost the moment that you undo take, take the tank off the pressure's there these, you never set these above 15 PSI. You see it on the gauges. The gauge has got the warning basically. Hey, don't do this. Don't go above 15. For this particular test, we're just going to do a little brazing. Um, and I am going to set the acetylene at 5. Now, here's the other deal. Everybody says, open your gas on your, on your torch. And we're going to basically compress the diaphragm and let gas from the tank to a regulator and it's going to show up on here now any of you have done MIG you'll know when you set a gauge here it comes up it's going up it's going up going up going up going up gets to where you want it to do. that's free flowing when I switch it off watch the gauge see the gauge pop up and I set the gauge back to open, it's at, it's at 5, I close it, the free flow is 5, it's not 6.5 like the gauge is showing at this point. So a little bit different between the gauge, the torch open and the free, you know, this, this open, free flowing and closing, pressure goes up a little bit. It's actually still climbing a little bit, it's nearly at 7 now. We do the same up here on the on the oxygen. Need better cameras. So, on the oxygen side, remember, make sure you know which side of the gauge. The inside is PSI. Uh, this is kilopascals. So, you're going to... Gas is shut off. You're going to open the oxygen there's nothing coming through yet obviously because all it is is the tank through to the gate now we're going to depress the diaphragm let the gas come through down the pipe now this one you feel in the torch much more aggressive obviously and we're going to take it up to about 1820 you watch the gauge i'm going to shut down and you see it pop up a little bit open the gauge it goes back down Close the gauge off, pressure goes up a little. So there's a slight difference between free flowing and let's call it static pressure. Now the torch is ready to go. Now, to get myself back into this, I started watching some of the guys on the, on the television, on YouTube. And um, one of the guys that's been doing this like every single day says, Settling on first, off last. So open the acetylene, light the torch, 
bring the oxygen in, get the flames you want. I'm not going to try and describe flames. There's so many things on the internet about that. When you're coming back down, turn the oxygen down slowly to off. The flame, it just goes pure acetylene. Turn the acetylene off. Now, to prove this yesterday, I did acetylene on, oxygen on, and then I turned the acetylene off to feel the the actual pop from the acetylene off and the uh, oxygen still running. A pop, crack, you get a crack. Um, so, my, my rule from now, acetylene on first, off last. Okay, so we're gonna, again, don't light your, don't be stupid, don't light your torch right here. If there was a leak or something changed or you, you know, you tested it last week and you come back, it's, oh, it's fine, and lo and behold, something split on, you know, somebody's cut something on one of your pipes or something, or it just got old and got weak. Don't light your torch right next to your rig. We're gonna put that back out there. Bring you down. Whoop. There's no gas in, in my Jeep, by the way, before anybody says anything. I'm going to turn the acetylene on a little bit. Not a lot. The flames with the, with the big, with all of the carbon burner. And then bring in the, acet the oxygen. And you, you can go online and look at all the different planes. Cones and planes and you play about with the gas a little bit. Basically you never want the flame to be away from the end of the torch. It's a number two tip. More oxygen, less oxygen. Here, look, get it like that, and I'll just increase the acetylene a little bit. So the central cone tweaking out. Bring the cone back. A little bit, a little bit more oxygen. There's three, three cones in there. Feather cone and a tiny inner cone. Okay, here we go, shutting down. Remember, acetylene off last. First on, last off. So we're going to shut the oxygen down. Get the flame, turn the acetylene off, no popping. That's it for now. See you guys later. Trying, trying to do this is like, hey, I'm just starting. I did it years and years ago, but you know, people are just starting with this and every single little piece of this is important, obviously, for your safety. So, hey, be good. See you later, guys. Bye.